The year is 2022. Cancel culture is the new normal. Online freedom as we know it has ended. Digital stockades are here. All activity is monitored, stored, and predictively analyzed by a technological cartel. We're being converted into a digital resource, a digital currency to be farmed for metadata and loaded into a computerized combine, blockchained to a social engineering operating system. However, it doesn't have to be this way. Be part of a new technological revolution. Right now, 1,000 test pilots have launched themselves into a new digital frontier, a private network outside the big tech control. New technology with state-of-the-art digital engagement and never-done-before security and privacy features that are now operational. With Quick's digital engagement, entertainment, communication, and commercial exchange will never be the same. We are QUX. Quicks. Advanced pre-release sales are limited to 3,000. Order now by visiting quicks.tv. Get yours now before they sell out. Be part of a brand new online experience that you control. Don't care. Officially, don't care. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Basically, uh, you're going to be able in the very near future to do more than just streaming. I mean, I'm already uncensored on that format, so I got to keep remembering that I'm on YouTube and Twitch as well. So I do kind of have to watch what I do decide to stay say, but the Quixbox, the quantum user experience, I should say, it is... It's designed to be private so that there's constitutional rights that cover everyone on it. You can open a store, you can start a portal, which is a channel for all the people that aren't familiar. Um, <laughs> um, wow, I totally wasn't ready for this, too much running. And I didn't even get to shower and change. I was uh, sanding down railing. I could have had another deck railing sanding party, but I was doing it out in the yard. And there's no way I'm hauling equipment out there this time. Too much to clean last time. Seven hours of sanding wood and talking to people. That was just craziness. But uh, let me show you here. Alexa, turn on big light. Whoa. All right, just want to make sure you guys can see the remote here. It also is like an air mouse, so you can kind of move it around like that. Um, it's excellent. Alexa, turn off big light. Sorry, what device? Big light off. Sorry, what device? You know what? I don't care. Turn off big light. There we go. Anyway, sorry, Alexa's apparently deaf. Um, and sorry if you can hear my air conditioner buzzing in the background. Uh, anyway, um, where was I? Anyhow, the remote. Um, it's actually pretty fresh. The air mouse, you know, lets you be casual. I personally, I use a, it's called a Re i4, I believe. And it not only has a, a little touchpad mouse function. It's got the full keyboard. I use them in combination because it's quite uh, convenient together, I should say. Um, let's see here. It's got the Quorum User Experience Box has 4K output. Um, it does the Dolby, well, it does Dolby Vision pretty well on my 4K TV, I must say. Um, and being a uh, 
advanced pre-release person. I kind of wish I had my uh, approval on the affiliate program, but uh, as of this moment, I don't yet. But you can uh, get yours, well, get in line to get yours at qx.tv. And it is, you can check out the specs there if you like. Um, it's got four gigs of memory at the moment, uh, 64 gigs of uh, storage space, Bluetooth 4.2. Um, it's got your little standard SD slot. Um, well, heck, I can just uh, share a screen here with the specs that I currently am looking at. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There we are. And there we are. All right. There's the current specs on it. And I have a feeling they might get upgraded because no, I can I can see it going with many, many places, especially when more funding and more popularity comes along. That's the whole point of this, though. I got to get the word out there because not enough people know or believe in this box. And my box doesn't even look like that. I'm going to show it to you. It is this little guy right here. Ah, this is the advanced pre-release prototype um yeah um the great thing about it is though it is kind of a setup like a phone in a way that you can just um actually plug in just any old webcam and just get going uh in the future uh pending there's programmers that um decide to go ahead and do that um i'm sure blockchain could be built on the basically the internet 2.0 and if, I mean, I don't fully understand the need for it in that case, be, other than, uh, I don't know, keeping things, uh, keeping things, actually, screw it. I, I don't, you can build blockchain on it if you want. I don't, I don't feel it's need. Um, Quicks box. It's like digital cash. Um, one for one with the U.S. dollar. Um, and there you can start a store. You can basically, uh, if you have a portal and say your viewers are primarily people that like to play video games or something, and you have, say there's a store that sells primarily video game oriented products. Well, that person, uh, who has the store can choose to sponsor the person with the portal that I was speaking of in the beginning directly so that there's no middleman. No one's taken their third cut or whatever, like the, the host, one of two of the hosts of my current streams. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, basically you get to make more, you get to choose where your information goes. The only information shared is basically half of your email from what I understand. And I'm, um, I knew there was someone in the stream. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, um, the information it shared is the Mac address. And that's just, so the private network that you actually have to put in your login and password whenever you start the box to, so that it's communicating only with communicating only with the quick servers and you can um, like someone couldn't just make a box and just log on to the servers that it's proprietary so that you know so that there will be no infiltrators that aren't using the proper protocols to ensure that your to ensure that your information and everything on the quicks network is safe and private and encrypted military grade encryption might I add so that you ain't got to worry about all that um give me one second let me
We have become dependent on a corrupted, unsecure network, the so-called World Wide Web. This is not the intergalactic computer network we were promised. The web makes us vulnerable to hacking, tracking any form of digital attack. It's easily gamed, misused, and even abused. Censorship, cancel culture, and deplatforming are symptoms of a larger problem. We're stuck in technological cul-de-sacs controlled by big tech whose interests take precedence over ours. Their technology is built around conditioning and addiction, control and domination. However, it doesn't have to be this way. Our solution is the Quantum User Experience. QUX, or QUIX, is your portal to a new digital universe. When you join Quix, you have unlimited access to whatever content you want. You can live stream, upload your own videos, audio, music, images, post, and listen to podcasts. Quix even allows you to use Android apps and games. You deserve the online experience you want to have. Create collections or share new content with your family, community, or the world. You can pull content from other websites and platforms to Quix easily, or you can upload directly to Quix. Quix isn't a publisher. It's an interface where anyone can publish and everyone can control their own digital experience. You can monetize your viral creations. Quix pays content creators double what other platforms offer with affiliate codes and other forms of monetization or just lean back and enjoy quicks. All right, I'm gonna start off here. I'm just gonna barely, basically uh, elaborate on what's on the screen there. Um, you can make your own channels, you can customize portals, all Android apps and the open web are accessible in the QuickSpox. And there's a CDN that keeps everything that you do, like I said, encrypted and private because you're essentially connecting to the Quick servers your QUX servers, and then you are uh, using their CDN to connect to the rest of the world, which keeps everything private. And the only information they store, other than your other than your MAC address on your QUX box, is uh, half your email, and that's only the email you purchase it with. Heck, mine wasn't even purchased with uh, my email address or name. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, anyone can be a creator. Like I said earlier, direct relationship with the, uh, with the advertisers. If you have a portal and you get your analytics available, so you get to choose what information is shared and whether you even want to be sponsored. And there's no censorship. That's the best part. I'm sure you can agree with me there. You don't have to worry about uh any of the little uh i don't even want to talk about it i could throw on something like hulk hogan and randy savage tripping on acid obviously um but that would block this entire stream out on youtube because wwe has a burr up their butt apparently um when it comes to that um let's see anyone can be a creator proprietary analytics um yeah i already mentioned all that stuff i'm a little bit ahead 
And yes, the music's crunchy. Let me kill it. StreamYard ain't up to par anyway. We need something better. Someone create a better version on the QX service. I would be forever grat of I'd be forever happy. Wonder if this one's gonna be that way too. Man, what is with the crunchy? They used to have really good everything and now everything's just kind of gone to hell with StreamYard. I swear every time I use it it gets a little worse. Um let's see. By the way, that's my coat of arms up in the corner there. Let's uh change it to my usual tech zero thing there. Um Hmm. You little shenanigans. All right. Um, I'm going to play number three, Extra Cheese Ultra Low in the background by the same person, Ryan Flanagan. I don't know where he comes up with these tunes, but he is not sober when he does them. Just saying. All righty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to sharing... The screen, I'm going to show you what my dashboard currently looks like. Now, keep in mind that this is just a sort of pre-release, and I don't even know if I'm allowed to show this, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up portals. All right, over here on the left. <laughs> um, we got easy portals if you just want to set up quick video upload, and you can upload straight from the box. But um, so far... I. That's why I tried to live stream the first time and did not know the process. But I got like vocal cover that I did. It's up there and it's set up kind of like Netflix would be, I guess. But I'm not a huge fan of the setup. I'm sure it's not the final version, but that's probably why they created the easy portals. Um, but my basic contents, this is... Uh, what I have up there in regards to regular videos so far. Um, and I do have a complaint, Gavin, if you're watching this. I don't know why, but I can't play my rear view of possible episodes. They will not play from my box. Don't know what's going on. They used to, but they don't now. But, however, the vocal cover of somewhere out there does. And I am pretty pleased with that. But um, let's see here. Looking at the wrong thing. Um, all right, over here you can add the Quix tokens, which is still under construction and whatnot. Um, I'm not even sure what's going to be under my apps. There's a boilerplate thing that I don't exactly know what it's for, but you got your standard password like stuff and pretend you didn't see my personal email. It doesn't matter, I don't care. Um, there's no statistics because that's still under development, I'm guessing. And let's see. Go ahead and show you guys the advanced pre-release version. Right now it's 150 if you uh, pre-order it. I'm pretty sure the price is going up to 200 uh, once it launches. Um Man, you guys need to get in line for this stuff, though. It is crazy. And when it goes to phones, it's going to blow up. Because, I mean, who doesn't want a phone that they're not going to be tracked with? You know what I'm saying? However. Oh, yeah, it does Dolby Atmos, which is awesome. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to actually, well, the remote comes with it. Don't you worry about that. Um, I wonder if I've been affiliated yet. It's live stream. It's actually pretty easy. You just get the whole uh, stream key thing going. Click start live stream. That one is not valid because I can't get it to reset on uh, the Brave browser at the moment. But... I assume that if I tried the easy portal thing, not using Brave Browser, since it seems to be all jacked up, it may actually work. But maybe it's also because of uh, the protections on that. Um, but there does need to be programmers. I'm, I must say, 
if you are good with programming apps, you should definitely uh, hit up, uh, I believe the best email to go with would be, uh, info at quickstech.com, Q-U-X-T-E-C-H.com. Um, if you uh, want any more info on the Quicks box itself, and also, uh, if you're a programmer and have some ideas and you want to get on and want to, maybe they'll kick you up in the line to be able to get a box sooner and you'll be able to maybe develop for it. Um, the Android boxes, they're developed from the kernel up. There's no Google code whatsoever. I mean, they took some ex analysts and, um, had to go way out of country to find programmers in obscure places that um, knew how to program from the kernel up uh, so that you could have an Android experience, which I don't even know if they can legally call it Android since that is uh, technically Google's little bitch, pardon my language. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's been done from the ground up and uh you don't have to worry about any of the tracking systems like i've gone through it extensively but they come basically uh rooted so you can develop all you like for no idea what just oh yeah, remote. they come rooted so you don't even have to worry about messing around too hard to be able to develop for it and so far i've been able to find no security flaws um I have pen tested the hell out of it. I've even had a few friends pen test it and so far so good. I don't even need to use my deeper unit, although I'm sure it provides more um, confusion if you were doing something unsavory and didn't want to get caught or just are extra paranoid about what you do on the internet, and what you watch and don't want anyone knowing anything. If you want to be basically a ghost, then you should be able to achieve it through the QUX box. But I mean, I'm still not, uh, I haven't done an official test to be able to tell the difference. I even turned off my, um, turned off my deeper network mini, uh, and it's a uh, custom routing just for this. So, um, just to prove that there's no gremlins, um, Heck, I could probably be as base as I want. That's why I wish someone would take me up on the the AMA offer. But it doesn't seem like anyone's going to, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Oh, there's three people. I wonder if one of those three is a bot. Because I got my mod and I got my mom. And I can't even make mods in here, I don't believe. Um, yeah. And no one in the back room. Uh, T-Dubs, you are solid. You're solid as, you're like a rock. So I got over a hundred subs at my uh, at my deck rail creation uh, celebration event for that, and uh, it's pretty sad that only two of the subs uh, even showed up. Maybe three, if one's being quiet, they're not saying anything. But I don't know. I must say though. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, things people would like to know about the quantum user experience. Uh, TW, do you have any questions about it, actually? Or have I ranted so much that you understand it? Because <laughs> I, I do rant a good bit pretty much everywhere. But in my opinion, this is the easiest way. If a ton of people were to get this box and it became big enough to catch the attention of the powers that be. I must say that um, 
this could be the only nonviolent step that I've heard proposed to prevent a world war, to prevent civil war. It could prevent all sorts of things. Um, I mean, it would be in a way that people would have to, well, since there is military grade encryption and it's possible to use a smart card interface with uh, the Quix box. Um, even government could get on and use it, but you know, they would be having to act as everyone else. Um, I mean, they wouldn't be able to get anyone's information all special like they, they would just be another person, but they can still conduct their business because it's smart card capable or whatever those cards are called. Um, pretty sure they're called smart cards. I don't remember exactly, but, uh, let's see. I must say uh, it does have the most comprehensive analytics available and most people you get paid. Did you guys know that YouTube takes probably half of the money that you could be getting uh, from advertisers and the fact you can't choose them just kind of sucks. You, you can improve your monetization and who runs any ads if anyone on your channel. I mean, it's complete choice. And you don't have to worry about YouTube ads if you're using this box either, might I say. And I've seen myself, I've seen people, oh, they, they can't, they ain't going to come get you if you're using the quantum user experience. But I have yet to uh, install any extras like a browser or anything like that. So I haven't really got to that aspect because my silly ass went extreme and decided to reset my box without thinking. And I just recently got it up and working again. And I'm waiting for the newest update for the quick portal straight from the box. But um, soon they're going to be launching the video chat option to where you can chat like one-on-one -on -one with other Quix users. And the store option was available, but now it's not. I guess it'll be available again soon. Um, they're working out some kinks, I'm guessing, but I can keep you all posted through Gavin, which I would give a leg if I could get him on here to tell you guys the parts with the Rico Suave sort of way he has of just doing things. He is magic. Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication. All right, I'm going to, uh, Call the CEO and put him on speaker. Hey, you're live. Hey, I can hear me ringing. There's a bit of delay. Let me go turn the volume down so we don't go get this bizarre echo. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So cool. How how easy was it uh, setting everything up? It was uh, very easy, actually. Uh, once I got, um, I had to stop using the Chrome browser or the Brave browser because it wasn't uh, it wasn't refreshing the the live stream option. So I got on Firefox. Right. Everything worked swimmingly. Everything that I had a problem with on Brave browser worked just fine. Like ev every issue I had disappeared as soon as I switched to Firefox. Okay. If you could do me a favor and fire off an email to me to um, write that stuff down so I can have the tech team go ahead and look and see what the issues are with Chrome and stuff. Because there was another individual who tried to live stream from OBS, and he had a little bit of an issue. So maybe it's just kind of a one of those things where we got to go make sure that everything's working so i i've actually um i've had a lot of problems with stream yard usually i'm surprised it's well it wasn't working at first i had to switch once i uh actually was successful with the the stream two quicks i had to switch browsers with stream yard too over to firefox because it, it wasn't working but now with uh with um with 
StreamYard going and everything on Firefox, the sound's all choppy because StreamYard and Firefox don't tend to get along. But um, I'm sure we'll get all those problems ironed out. But yeah, I'll fire off an email to you as soon as I check it out here. And, uh, nice. Are you are you live just on Quix or other places? I'm live on Quix, YouTube, and a Twitch right now, actually. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I don't say anything <laughs> <laughs> stupid. It doesn't matter. I'm so, not monetized, and I only have 100 uh, followers on one place and eight on the other, so it's not like anything well, not will so happen. not so much that, but, but since we're, like, if we were only in KUX, I could say things that only you guys hear, you know what I'm saying, so... Right, I'm right. Be discreet. Understand. But yeah, super awesome to to see you. Do you have? Well, I'm trying to think, it'd be kind of cool to show your other audience. You know the perspective from inside the box, but I guess it is what it is. Well, I I, yeah. I turned my uh, camera around and showed uh, that I was streaming. Like I showed the portals and uh, um, all that stuff. Um, and the basic setup with the box and the little uh, the air mouse feature and all that, but um, I had to turn my webcam around for that. Um, do I now, have to have you can't something huh? you can't see because you're not in the box? But right now, I can click down and go over to a store and click on that. And if you, you know, obviously we turn the store feature off, but if you had the, the if the store feature is on right now all your products and everything would show up on the side and I'd actually be able to like shop your, your store as I'm watching your content. Yeah. So that's that, that's cool. what I was telling them. I, I w don't have to rely on a stream elements, bot being in the chat and me doing the little exclamation merch to throw the link up. It's just right there. Just purchase right out of it. It's awesome. Right. I mean, how cool is that for, for small time YouTubers and bloggers that don't get to play. It's pretty like elite. Others, you know what I mean? It's very elite. And and you need to add more categories for streaming because I I mean every not everyone's gonna want to sell something if they want to live well, stream. Right, exactly. But and but it, oh, I had yeah. to be clever with finding some a category for this one. <laughs> okay. I think I put you it on what? new Go smart ahead. devices or something. Well, something that's coming soon is we're looking at a bunch of different remotes to come out with another remote, but that has a keyboard on the back side of it, because what's going to be also along the bottom is not just store, but also chat. So anybody click in there and chat. And there are some things we're going to do with emojis and uh, what do you call them? Skins. Is that right? Yeah. I ah, did. I want to oh, say something, but I don't want to. <laughs> Just imagine full blown, full screen. Uh, this is what I've been gosh. using with my Quixbox in combination with the Air Mouse. Oh, that that's perfect. Yeah, that's, it, that's what we're gonna come out with something like that, a little bit more streamlined, you know, more like a remote size. But yeah, basically, we need a a keyboard. How well is that thing working with the? Oh, box it is excellent. Settings? Like it, it, I don't even use my. I don't need to use my air mouse on or the quicks remote. Like I actually kind of was too lazy to get batteries for it for like two days after I got it up and running again here this time. And I used only this and it was excellent. Every single feature on this worked both Bluetooth and the, the wireless dongle. And I mean, if you had games on here, I could play games with this controller. Like it's got the, the bumpers reason, and everything. The only reason we don't have games on here is that there's some kind of a patent issue with the particular chip we're using where though even though it's it's a 64 bit it's um they damage it so it's only 32. so so the next phase when we come up with the next box is going to have the full-blown 64 bit if it's ram if i'm right um don't quote me Okay. Hold on. And Something what that allows crazy to do is, is actually that keeps happening. Random YouTube videos keep uh like playing and there's nowhere that they're actually playing. It's only when I have a YouTube window open and it is oh. kind of strange. It's only it's never happened to me before just on this stream. So I feel like YouTube's messing with me, trying to mess up the stream or something. <laughs> You're looking smooth and clean on the TV. So oh, yeah. it looks like you're streaming at 720 yeah that's, that's the right. max i can do without uh paying more than 
like I got to pay 50 bucks a month to be able to stream any higher than that. So we need to find some kind of stream to multiple uh, format or platforms uh, um, app for the Quicks box because that, that would make things a hell of a lot better. Well, one of the next things we're going to do once we hit MVP, the market viable product, we have essentially all the basic features. The next thing we're rolling on to is making essentially our own version of like StreamYard or whatever that will allow you to, to and, and we'll be able to have that app. And this is all obviously before we come out with our phone, but that app would be available in the Apple Store and Google Play. And the reason why we don't have to worry about that app being banned is because it has no content. It just allows you to access QUX through an app on your phone. And what's going to be kind of cool. So what exactly is the boilerplate uh, app all about? So the boilerplate app is so that you can use your phone to to interface with Quix as far as going live or having like a remote control app on your phone. Okay. Just to basically, you know, but without having to compromise our network by having the phone accessing it through through the back end of the server. So what'll be cool is is when we get the uh, video chat finished, which the live stream is the preliminary, oh, right? And, and because it's... we're basically going to be live streaming to each other, right? So the, the video chat, what we're going to do is make it so that you can put your phone in airplane mode and use your camera through our app as your camera and microphone for, for the comms over the TV. Oh, wow. So it'll be basically like the over IP through your phone through the box. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I definitely do. I, I can see in my mind how that would all connect up, but it, it's it's easier. It, it sounds like it's going to be easier than uh, what people might understand based on what you said. <laughs> no, this whole thing's super simple. Like it, it really is. We don't even know what the limit's going to be for group chat. Oh like, my. we don't even know if it's going to be limited. It, like, let me, I'm just going to be blunt. If we can allow for 30,000 plus people to be on a single chat, we'll make it possible. Because think about it. You could have a full-blown live event with 30,000 people, and they would be able to not only, like, I don't know, we should, you know, we make it so they can, like, have little groups. And I don't know. It's just, it's basically once you guys, the public have a tech company like us that just wants to be disruptive and do just badass shit and not give a fuck game on. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what it boils down to. This is full blown <laughs> rebellious activity because we're tired of being told what to do, told what we can say. It's getting to the point of just, I don't know, but yeah, you caught me at a good time. Yeah, um, oh, it's always I'm sounds like a good excited. time when you're talking because like you get me excited about it because the sky is literally the limit with this format. I mean, it's it's the most disruptive and and groundbreaking tech that has come out in well since I don't know before AOL, well, long before that. <laughs> I I don't know. I, it makes me think of back when I was a teenager and like I ended up having a hacked AOL guide account and I could just <laughs> do things, whatever I wanted to. And I don't even know how well, I came across it. This is like a realm that in other circumstances, you'd have to be a hacker to do. Well, what it is, is this is all built around, designed around hacking mentality. So that just regular people can just interface with one another in an absolute free environment. This you're you're literally looking at the wild west of tech. That's what's so funny here. And all the things that we're putting in this box, all the capabilities are obnoxious. You know, like I was saying, imagine full screen emoji stickers. <laughs> right? And this is where anyone who's an app developer or anyone that wants to get it on the ground floor once we have applications opened up, it's like, Start building apps. Start putting them in Quicks. We're not going to charge people to put apps in Quicks. If you guys want to charge for an app, that's fine. We'll just take a 5% cut. And but technically, it's pretty much straightforward. And technically, whenever you guys uh, take things off back order with the with the boxes, anyone who gets one, if, if you guys still have them um, like, brooded, 
people could still develop for it and get get 100%. a head start on developing. Hundred percent. In fact, maybe we'll open up the develop. Maybe you know what we'll do. What do you think of a development test program, where basically developers come in, help us work out all the protocols and everything, make sure we're able to maintain the sanctity of the network? Because the idea is, think of it. My analogy is like a horse stable inside a walled garden inside a castle, right? Where basically the horses represent the different apps, and you can take one out of its its stall, and, you know, walk around with it, ride it, or whatever. But when you're done with it, it goes back, and it's walled off from all the other horses. You know what I'm saying? So none of the apps are going to be able to cross-communicate with one another to pull data out of the box. Everything's going to be isolated. So finally... We're going to be able to have a platform where we don't have to worry about third parties aggregating all of our data and selling it. Like one thing that people say is, so with your digital wallet and your token, since there's no history of the transactions, aren't you creating a black market? It's like, no, because all the stores and everything is visible on QUX. Anyone who wanting to do illegal stuff on QUX is going to be doing it in front of everybody. So that's stupid. What it right. does is this. Imagine you've got a flower shop in a small town, right? And you've got a customer base and you've been doing this business for like 20, 30 years. Hell, let's just say you inherited it from your grandpa or whatever. Well, Amazon, uh, Walmart, other big companies like that will buy your sales transactions and they'll aggregate it with your customer's social media. And what they'll do is they'll have an AI program work out, all right, which of these customers do we need to send these targeted ads to to pull their customer base away and draw them to ourselves? And that's the reason why having our transactions private is so critical. It prevents it, it, it prevents the market from being rigged. That's all. It does. It's just to, so that we can have a fair market. I'm over all this rigged shit, part of a rigged just everything's freaking rigged and it's a it joke. Really, it really is like the whole GameStop thing when they shut down trading on GameStop because everyone was uh, going based on like a tip or something. And, and it was crowd, the crowd was trying to rig it in their favor. And then uh, the stock exchange just put the hammer down and said, no, you are not trading. We are in charge. <laughs> yep. It was. Well, anyway, I need to get off the phone, go do some some things. But hey, I am super excited that you got this up and going. Oh, I am too. Go live all the time, man. I'm one of the first people to just have live content all the time. I guarantee other people are excited. Like finally, some live streaming content. <laughs> right, so and that's and it's getting stuff. word about this out there. That's what I'm worried about. And I've already told everyone to email if they want to develop for the Quicks box to uh, email the info at quick check dot um the website on the website's email mm -hmm. i i told him to just send an email there and uh see what happens <laughs> we launch will probably actually set something up more specific like an actual page like are you interested in being a developer apply here you know what i mean we'll set something up like that and then we'll also get the affiliate program um, back and running and get all that figured out. It's just, this is like literally being a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. It's freaking a lot of stuff we're doing. And I haven't had any gremlins it. either. And I turned off the Deeper Connect Mini before I started this stream. It's been smooth as butter. No, I'm watching it. It's awesome. I'm, I am so happy. I, this is great. I, so. I'm excited. But yeah, I'll let you get to what you need to do. And I'm going to use the excitement that I just leached off of you and, and ramble a little more, I do believe. You know what someone really ought to do is put up a bunch of surveillance cameras in their house, set it to live, and just have a reality show. <laughs> you know, that is actually somewhat possible. I, I, I've actually set up something <laughs> like that, just not on the Quicks box. It was uh, for someone's business that uh, probably wouldn't be something that should be streamed because it's it, it wasn't a very clean reality show but uh um however uh <laughs> or cat it, videos right you could just set up a, a yeah. live stream of a cat <laughs> yeah um actually i could do my east facing uh, security camera thank you mom i could do my east facing security camera where all the weird 
uh, like shrinking moon and, and the multiple moons and all the weird stuff happens. I don't know. I didn't really think of that until now. Well, here, and this is what's cool. We have the freedom to obtain good, bad, ugly ideas, and we don't need a babysitter. You know, I love exactly. exploring all kinds of wild theories and ideas and stuff just for fun. And YouTube has really broken exactly. that ability. Welcome you to know, the new really age late. of free speech. Truly. So. And, and we but anyway, to yeah. You. All right, Aaron. Well, thanks for letting me know that you were doing this. Super excited. And uh, thank you for coming on yeah. and saving me. <laughs> All righty. You have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. All right, so you heard it from the man, the myth and the legend. Uh, if it weren't for uh, YouTube messing with Millennial Millie Weaver, then I don't know if uh, any of this would have been possible. I, I don't know if they had it in the works, but um, I'm kind of glad they did because this is this is just amazing. Is it the ionosphere with the madness and the mania as one guiding force?